an item doesn't necessarily have to be super expensive for it to be a good capsule wardrobe piece. These were, as I said, 50 quid and the cost per wear, the cost per wear is high. Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kira. I share lots of videos on shopping for the best basics on the high street, how to build a capsule wardrobe and lots of other good stuff. So if that sounds good to you, then do hit subscribe because I would love to have you back for more videos. So in today's video, we are sharing some chic outfit inspiration for autumn. It is probably, no, it's definitely my most favorite time for fashion and for putting outfits together. I feel like this temperature is perfect. It's not too warm, not too cold. It's probably one of my favorite times for layering and I feel like all of my favorite items come out at this time of the year and it's just such a fun time for fashion. So I have seven different outfits to show you. They are all kind of leaning towards the old money, timeless kind of minimal vibe that I'm just loving at the moment and you guys seem to be enjoying it as well. Um, as always, everything that I mentioned will be linked right down in the description below. I'll also leave info on sizing and if anything is sold out, I will link an alternative below. So without rambling on too much, let's get straight into it with outfit number one. So outfit number one is a little bit more on the casual side, which I absolutely love. I think it's really nice to have a mix of looks here and it is probably one of my favorites. It's so simple, but I really, really like it. I think this outfit will be great for literally just running errands, popping around the city. You could be going to visit someone, going for coffee, lunch, I mean, outfits like this can really take you anywhere. So I'm starting with my trusty ballet flats from Marks and Spencer. You've heard me talk about these before. They are such a good find. They come in at about 50 euro and they're real leather, super comfortable. Then I have my absolute favorite Arquette Rose cropped jeans. These are probably one of my favorite jeans to wear at the moment. These and the indigo blue color that they also come in. They'll all be linked below, but I just adore these jeans. I feel like they're the perfect perfect kind of everyday, not too dressy, but still really chic and smart looking with this gorgeous H&M cardigan. So you might notice this cardigan. Um, I feel like it kind of went viral online for being a really good dupe of the Kate cardigan, which is obviously much more expensive. I feel like every year H&M is a really good one for getting basically more affordable versions of a lot of those designer pieces. And I think this Kate cardigan is one of their best. I will link it if it's still available. I know it was selling out. You can sign up for stock notifications on H&M now, which is great so if it is in stock and you want it snap it up because it probably won't be there for long so with it i have paired my absolute beloved new york tote from demelier london again for a outfit of like running around in the city and just like i don't know running errands or what have you i feel like a tote is just chef's kiss it's such a good one i have a full video dedicated to this tote if you want more of a review an overview what fits all that kind of stuff i will link that below um but it is one of my favorite bags at the moment and yeah it's just so gorgeous and then just to finish the outfit off i went for some classic gold jewelry this necklace is actually from regal rose but i included some additional charms from they were really old from thomas abo which i love um so it's kind of like a homemade charm necklace but i will link some similar ones that i found on etsy below i feel like the charm necklace trend is a really fun way to like introduce so much personality and character into your accessories so i found some gorgeous ones on etsy i'm going to link below and that is it for look number one so look number two is another favorite of mine and i remember wearing something very similar to this multiple times last autumn because I feel like it just never fails. It is the combination of a great blazer and a great pair of knee-high boots. These are my Massimo Duty knee-high boots. I absolutely adore these. You will have seen them in one of my previous haul videos. They are a little bit more spenny, but my goodness, the quality is there. They're so gorgeous, really buttery, soft leather. And I love the way they cut on the leg. Like they have that nice bit of width at the calf, which is really hard to find in knee-high boots. I don't want them to be too tight. So I will link them below. And also they come in two different heel heights as well. Cause a lot of people were asking me about that and about the comfort level. Now I'm a gal who is good in heels. Um, so I could probably wear these all day and be fine. But if you're a bit worried about the heel height, which honestly I do think they're comfortable, they really are but they do have a lower heel height as well. So that's worth remembering. But I will also link in the description below a very similar pair that I have now found on H&M. Am I a bit sickened? No, I love the Massimo Duty ones, 
But if you did not want to spend that, there are some really similar ones available on the high street now, and they will be linked below. The most basic pair of black tailored shorts. These are from Zara. They are a good few seasons old, but I will link some similar ones. You could switch this out for like a skirt if you wanted as well, but it's basically just something that's a little bit above the knee. Um, and then I've paired it with a classic black turtleneck. Now this one is from M&S. And what I tend to do in autumn and also in winter as well is I wear thermal polo necks. They are such a game changer. It's such a little fashion hack. I would highly recommend. So paired with that then I have one of my favorite, favorite blazers from Sandro. I actually got this one on the Outnet. It was such a good price and I do think it's sold out but I will link some similar ones below and I'll also link, I feel like I mentioned this in every video, but I'll link my high street blazer roundup video which is like my favorite blazers on the high street that you can get for like different budgets. Um, so I will link that as well. And then with this outfit, I paired it with one of my favorite crossbody bags. This is the gorgeous Coach Bandit. It's such a chic crossbody and I love that you can switch it to go under the arm as well as across the body as well. It's kind of multi-use. And I also have a full review video on this bag as well, which I will link below if you wanna know more info on it, where you can get it, where the discount codes are, all the info will be there. Just like with most of the outfits you're gonna see in this roundup, I did pair it with a pair of classic black sunglasses. I just find that they just finish every look off so well. I'm such a creature of habit with them, but I tend to rotate between my top three, which you'll see in this video. They just make every outfit look better, especially in autumn. Like it's, to me, I think sunglasses all year round are an essential. You know. So for outfit number three, this one again is leaning in a little bit more to the casual side, which I absolutely love. I feel like recently some of my favorite outfits to style are ones where there's just a little bit of like chic, kind of effortless nonchalance to them, which I love. <laughs> when do I ever use that word? But I feel like it comes across here. I think it's a gorgeous outfit. So starting from the bottom, we are again going with my beloved flats. I just adore these so much. And guys, if you're looking for a good ballet flat, just get them. They're such a good price. You will not regret it. And then I have my Arquette trousers. These again are such a good buy. They're such a great fit. So then underneath I have a simple basic t-shirt, which again, I've harped on about so many times. Your basics, especially in autumn are so handy because we tend to not wear that many layers. And then on top of that, I have this gorgeous striped cardigan from H&M. This to me really nails the kind of old money, timeless aesthetic. I love it so, so much. It is sold out unfortunately, but I will have some similar ones linked below. And again, uh, you can turn on stock notifications if you wanna see if it pops in or out. So I will link some ones that I can find in stock below. Um, but again, it's just the idea of wearing one of your classic heavyweight cardigans. And I did pick up a few for the beginning of this season in the stripe and also in a black and a white from Marks and Spencer. So I'll link those below as well because you could easily interchange them with this outfit and it's still gonna work. For my bag, I have a newer purchase. I actually got this on ASOS and it was under 30 euro and I am obsessed. I love the slouchy, like it's almost like a rolled up black bag, which sounds bizarre, but there's something so chic about just having it like shoved under your arm. I love that it's like this big pillowy pouch. There's something so effortless and cool about it. And honestly, it fits a ton. It's such a Mary Poppins bag and it's such a good price as well. So again, it will be linked below. Outfit number four is an all black look with a little pop of tan. And I know that you will see a lot of darker colors in this roundup, but I just can't help it, especially for autumn. There's something about coming back to the dark colors that I really, really love because I tend to sometimes dress in a lot of neutrals in the summertime. So for this outfit, again, we are starting with the knee high boots and guys, I'll be wearing them loads because for me, when I make an investment in something, I want to get my money's worth. Underneath the coat, I have this gorgeous button down wool dress from Pretty Lavish. It's so gorgeous. It feels so soft on. Over it, I have on this, I just love this jacket. It's kind of like a mix between a blazer and a coat. And it's probably as much of a coat as I'm happy to wear right now, if that makes sense, because it's just not that cold yet. But it's actually an older purchase from Misguided, but I will link some similar ones. So you'll see I have it cinched in with my Isabel Morant belt, which I adore. This is the reversible one. So it's a really good buy because you're getting two colors in one. But I decided to leave my bag to be black. So the one that I have is this cute little Charles and Keith. It's like one of their little crescent bags. They are such a good brand for bags that are under 
150 or even under 100 euro that are just really good quality and look so much more premium. I actually need to order one or two of their other bags so I can do a full kind of rundown for the channel because they're such a good brand to check out. I will link them below so you can see their stuff. I feel like the big blazery coats belted with a pair of boots to me is like quintessential autumn dressing. It's always my favorite outfits to put on when like the leaves start to turn. So for outfit number five, we are getting the legs out once again. And as I said, it is autumn get those legs out while you still can. But for this outfit, I wanted to do something that was a mix between casual and dressy. So again, we started with my knee-high boots. I just adore them. They just look so good with everything. I will be living in them, which I suppose is a good sign. It shows that they were a good purchase. So we have the knee-high boots and then I paired them with a little black mini skirt. I don't think it's still available, but I will try to find some very similar versions. I saw some really good ones on Koss recently and they look like they hit you at the right point in the leg it's just it's about being like short enough but not being too short for every day so I feel like this length is so spot on then I've paired it with one of my favorite knits at the moment it's just a really simple one from H&M super affordable really really cozy actually this um here is a beautiful cashmere knit from Lily Silk I'll link it below it is so soft and cozy but even with any kind of knits I do like to wear a t-shirt underneath them I just feel like it makes it even more comfortable and cozy um, and then on top of that for this outfit on top of my H&M knit I have my Arquette short trench coat and again it's the type of jacket or coat that I will reach for because it's light enough for autumn it's not too heavy and then I have my Tory Burch Lee Radswell bag I actually picked this up for a bit of a steal on vest year I love the like smooth leather I think it's so beautiful but I will link a similar version actually M&S have this gorgeous bag which I've mentioned on the channel before that comes in at under 60 euro um, it's not real leather but it's really gorgeous and it gives the same kind of vibe so I will link that below if you want to check it out as kind of an alternative so for outfit number six we are kind of again mixing casual with dressy this is an outfit that you could easily wear to dinner if you throw on a pair of heels but it also works for day to day as well and I have to say I love this knit. I love the off the shoulder look. I think it's so chic, so elegant. It's like quintessential like old money vibes. I love it so much. And we again have the M&S ballet flats. Guys, I just, I adore them. And I know I'm such a repeater with my items, but like that's the whole point of a capsule wardrobe. An item doesn't necessarily have to be super expensive for it to be a good capsule wardrobe piece. These were, as I said, 50 quid and the cost per wear the cost for wear is high. We've got my lovely Arquette trousers. I just adore these so, so much. I need to get them in another color like immediately. Um, and then I have my lovely little Amazon belt. This was such a good find. I think it came in at under 15 euro and it looks so good with like trousers, kind of tailored things, but especially these trousers, I just think they're like match made in heaven. And then I have this gorgeous off the shoulder knit. So this one is from H&M. I will link it below if it's still available. They had some other colors, but I just think the black is so chic, but I just adore how it looks like sat off the shoulder. There's something so gorgeous about like an exposed shoulder, preferably with a bit of shimmer, but it's just so stunning. I love it. So I love this outfit. I think it's super, super cute. And then again, we have the pillowy ASOS bag, which I feel like adds a little bit of kind of maybe edginess to the very elegant, like off the shoulder, the ballerina flats. I think sometimes it's nice to juxtapose these things within the outfit. So then for our final look, we are going back to OG autumnal Kira. I just love this style of dressing for autumn. I think it's so chic. It's just so fun. So we have done again, my knee high boots for Massimo duty. It's either the boots or the ballet flats in this, in this roundup guys, but I can't help it. It's what I've been wearing. We have this gorgeous brown wool pleated skirt. If this doesn't scream autumn, I don't know what does. And again, it's gonna work right the way through into winter as well. I just adore it. Um, it's by Mango. I believe it might be sold out on the side. I will link it and link some similar versions if it is. With that, I'm wearing a black turtleneck. Again, I think this is the one from Marks and Spencer. It typically is either that or a very light ribbed one that I think I have years, to be honest with you. But again, I think the M&S ones are so good. And then on top of it, I have probably my 
top three blazers in my wardrobe. It is my Sandro Meg wool blazer. The best blazer, the weight to it. Like it's definitely not a summer blazer. It's very much an autumn winter layer. It's heavy, it's good quality. It looks amazing. It feels super soft. Um, but I will link some similar items below. So then for a bag for this outfit, I went with the Coach Bandit again. I just feel like that type of bag, especially the under the arm one, goes really, really well with the kind of like shorter, like legs out, um, skirt and blazer kind of energy. I just feel like it feels very preppy. So there you have it guys. Those are seven easy, chic autumn outfits that you can recreate either with items in your own wardrobe. Maybe it'll give you some styling inspiration for the season ahead. And of course, it's all about these classic timeless styles that really will work you know year after year so hopefully you'll have some items in your wardrobe already that you can use to kind of pull inspiration from and put together these outfits but as always everything that I mentioned will be linked down in the description below if you liked this video and you'd like to see more styling videos do give me a thumbs up to let me know or better yet you can leave me a comment and let me know if you'd like me to style some outfits for a specific occasion that you have coming up so do let me know about that and I'll see what I can do and of course if you have not already subscribed to my channel then please do I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye